Now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, after a snow flurry filled morning, we're finally seeing them start to move out and break up. There's a look at the Precision 18 radar. Most of us, we're seeing those clear skies now, a little bit more sun as well. Take a look further up to the north, though. All that lake affects snow near South Bend. They've been seeing around an inch, inch and a half, maybe even two inches in some place, places during the first part of the morning. That's the same place in the same area that's going to have the best chance to see that increased amount of snow come Sunday evening. That's what's something we'll continue to track. Temperatures all around the area staying pretty chilly this morning, still well above average. 22 to Degrees in Frankfurt, 26 degrees here in Lafayette, 24 degrees in Williamsport, about 15 degrees below average. Plus, you add in those wind chills, winds out of the west around 5 to 10 miles per hour, 14 degrees in Atlanta and Frankfurt, 16 degrees is what it feels like in Thorntown right now. Not nearly as gusty as it was yesterday, but still a little breezy out there. You can still see a few snow flurries flying around out there, but for the most part, that's done. Get a little more sun out there as well. That's helping heat those temperatures up just a little bit. 26 degrees with those winds staying out of the west around 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at the tracker radar. You saw what we were dealing with during the first part of the morning. All of this cold air advection, not really part of a system. You just get the cold air with some moisture, meeting some warm air. That's when you really start to get those flurries that just pop up. And they really just hung around the exact same spot during the first part of the morning. See them sitting there in central Indiana, up there in Illinois, all the way around the Midwest there. They saw those flurries. Finally, though, they're breaking up and will be staying mostly dry through the rest of the evening hours. We'll be at 26. That'll be the high that we see today with those finally seeing those snow flurries end. We'll be down to 22 degrees by the time we get to 7 with those winds staying out of the west 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, to start off your weekend, going to be a little warmer, 29 degrees, still 10 degrees below average, though. Maybe seeing a little more sun, but pretty much similar to what we saw today. Winds starting to transition a little bit out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. But of course, what everybody's watching is this snow system that's moving in Saturday night into Sunday. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to break this down. Take a look at Futurecast, 6 o'clock. You see the snow coming in there. That's Saturday at 6 o'clock. Right now at about 9.45, 10 o'clock, late Saturday night, you're going to start to see some of that first snow start to move in. Futurecast has some light snow. Most of the heavy snow is going to be staying up to the north. We move through a little more. This is now at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Again, northern Indiana is going to be seeing the bulk of that heavy snow. Doesn't mean we're not going to see snow here. We will see some snow here definitely during the overnight hours. Just not going to be nearly as much as you see those waves thanks to that lake effect snow. They're going to be seeing much more. Now we're at Sunday at 3 o'clock. We should be getting a nice little break from that snow. This is when the rain and the wintry mix starts to move in. Take a look at this. Really all of Indiana, again, except for northern Indiana, is going to be seeing rain. Average high or the high temperature for Sunday is going to be about 34, 35 degrees. So if that drops down 1 to 2 degrees, you just get this, all this rain could turn to snow and it could be completely different. So right now we're just going to anticipate that rain. So we're going to say 1 to 3 inches of that freezing rain or 1 to 3 inches of snow plus some freezing rain for the central part of that area there. Any further south you go, you're going to be seeing more rain than snow. But take a look further up to the north. You get near Pulaski County. Any further up there, Rensselaer, you could possibly be seeing 3 to 6 inches of snow. That's something we'll continue to track as it moves in. We'll be in here Oof. early tomorrow morning getting updated models on it. So make sure to tune in to WLFI uh, at 6 and 11 on Saturday okay. to, to get the updated amounts. Well, it can all be tricky, but certainly that freezing rain can be a real mess. Especially. Yeah, especially on the roads. Yeah. Um, snow is one thing that freezing rain is impossible to stop. Yeah. Okay. All right. I know you keep an eye on it. Thanks, Cam.